What is crack a lacking, gamers? I know. I know. I died. I was recording another video, and I died. Very idiotically, in fact. Uh, I accidentally stepped in a little bit of lava that I for forgot to remove. Um, so I'm just gonna start over the series. Uh, and I thought that usually the first episode's pretty boring, so I'm just going to talk about something else which is more interesting, albeit not connected in any way. But I'm still gonna talk about it because it's my channel and not yours. So, let's talk a little about the standard metagame, all right? And just like companion in general and how I hate it. Like, Ikoria is a great set and I love it. Limited environment, amazing, super fun. Cycling is a bit too good. I mean, like, you've got that freaking Thundermane 3 2 for 2 that has the shock ability whenever you cycle. That's a bit too good. But. The limited environment is pretty fun, and Companion is very fun in limited because it gives you a very good payoff to build towards, and drafting towards those payoffs is very fun. As well, just being able to do in-person drafts is so good. But in constructed formats, Companion is just... It's, it's stupid. Like, honestly, in Standard, like, I've been playing a couple games just for fun, it's almost like every other game my opponent has a companion. It's almost like if you aren't playing with a companion, then why you, why don't you have a companion? You should. Because it's so much of an advantage. You get to have that card every single game. Now, the fact that if your opponent kills it, it uh, doesn't go, or it goes away forever in your graveyard, or exile or whatever. But the fact that you still get it once, it's effectively having an 8-card starting hand but you always know what that card's gonna be. I mean, you can build around it like crazy. Like, have you seen some of the Grooted decks? Like, the Bank Grooted decks are crazy. I made my own, uh, what is it? Soltai Grooted deck, which used Titan's Nest, and that was pretty bonkers as well. You've just got so many, because you can, the way Garuda works, you can kind of get around the restriction by playing a bunch of ramp cards. If you go turn two ramp spell, that means turn three, you can either play a four drop or two two drops. That means turn four, you basically always get your Garuda, which is crazy because once you have your Garuda out, you spark double, Thassa, flicker it, get out an entire board, and how is your opponent supposed to deal with that? Are they going to kill everything? Sure, but you just... You didn't even cast a card from your hand. You're barely down on card advantage. It's just insane. And I've heard in older formats that some of the cards like the uh, one that cares about activated abilities or Lurus of the Dream Dead, those are just wrecking the format because decks already run permanents with so little converted mana cost and others run with lots of abilities like shops or something. So... They can just slot this in for almost no cost. It's almost like, why would you not play with this? It's sort of the same question with Lutri and Commander. Why would you not play it? And it's almost like, are you going to ban Luris just because every deck is able to play him? Like, it's going to be like the mirror match every single time. You're just going to play your Black Lotus, get out Luris, sack, bring back your Lotus, cast a Lodestone Golem. I don't even know if you're in Vintage. It just seems that the consistency is really my problem. Like, the idea of giving yourself a deck-building restraint. I like that idea. But the fact that you're not... You're getting this card every single game. It's the same card, but it's just more consistent. Now, I kind of like the way Hearthstone did it. And I hate to say this, since Hearthstone is a much worse designed game. But the way they did it, where with battle cry abilities that checked your deck was I think much more elegant because you're still having cards that you can just play normally, except they they're not gonna be as consistent. And these abilities were always on legendary creatures, so you're only allowed to have one in your 30 card deck. So it's effectively being able to play two in your uh, 60 card deck. But the consistency that it gives you is just insane. And the fact that their abilities usually work with their uh, companion abilities is just, like, I can't even think about it, how crazy it is. 
I now I like mutate. Mutate's a good mechanic. I like that cycling is back. It makes a limited environment so much better with cycling. And cycling is just a fun mechanic in general. I remember when it was an Amonkhet, being able to play a deck with like three stinging shots and just destroying your opponent while being able to cycle them if they weren't necessary. Um, I will say that having the one mana generic cyclers is probably a bit too much because there's literally no downside to playing the card. Um, but I feel that just companion, it would, it would have worked so much better if it would have been like a static ability or if it, it says when, it, when it enters the battlefield, you may reveal your deck. If it contains blah, 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 then do this. I don't know. It just seems seems so unnecessary to just inject Commander into every single format. Because Commander works because you have a singleton deck. And you only have one of each card. So the only constant that you can build around is your Commander. And just being able to play a 60-card deck with four of each card while still having your companion is insane. Now, normally when you have a play set of a card, you have a roughly slightly less than a 50% chance of having that card in your hand. But if you have a companion, you, you always have that card in your hand. Plus, you can play three additional ones in your main deck. That gives you maybe like a 40%, 33% chance of having already one in your starting hand and one in the command zone. And just having that consistency between game after game is boring. Like, I was playing my Soul Tiger Ruta deck, and I was just getting bored because every game I would go turn four, play Garuda, get a bunch of stuff on the field. What is my opponent going to do? Oh, they're dead. It's just, it's not like you're playing the game anymore. It's like you're playing with yourself. It's like it's legacy or something, or vintage, where you don't really care about what your opponent is doing. It's just, I don't know. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like the mechanic. That's that's really all I can say. Um, so I think that's enough of a rant today. Um, my Minecraft self is probably doing pretty okay. I'm going to be posting more videos later today. I'm going to be playing Bed Wars, one of my good friends. That's going to be pretty epic. Um, I'm not sure where else I'm going to post. Probably going to keep on doing this Let's Play series. I really like this house that I'm building. It's pretty nice. I'd like to finish it, although it does require a lot of wood. Um, so, yeah. I'll catch you guys around. See ya. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to share this with your friends or else.